Twenty-four years ago, no one would have thought that the Chernobyl power plant would become a tourist destination. But these foreign visitors are eager to see the site of the world's worst civilian nuclear accident. The radiation meter spikes as they enter the contaminated area. Here we are in Chernobyl exclusion zone. Dogs, don't touch them, it's not good idea. Oh, don't like, touch uh, dogs, dogs okay. uh, cats. The guide, Maxime, lays down the rules. Don't touch the buildings, plants, or stray dogs, or cats. Don't eat or smoke outside. Don't sit or place your belongings on the ground. And don't take anything as a souvenir. It was on April 26, 1986, that Chernobyl's fourth reactor began to melt down. The wind carried most of the fallout to the north and west, leaving some areas mostly free from contamination. Today, a one-day visit means a dose of radiation similar to having a single X-ray. Growing numbers of tourists are willing to take that risk and to pay $100 to $200 for the privilege. After the third checkpoint, visitors enter the ghost town of Pripyat. The city remains frozen in the communist era. This town here, uh, over there you've got the restaurant, the cultural centre, the hotel, and we've just passed through apartment blocks, many, many of them. Everything's just empty, dead. Here I am, two kilometres away from the, the melted-down reactor, which I never thought I'd do. It's uh, extreme tourism. The disaster took place just a month before this amusement park was due to open in May 1986. It's really depressing, especially the amusement park, because this park not even being able to be used ever, and little kids having to move away from their home, and it's sad. The residents of Pripyat had to leave everything behind immediately after the meltdown. Some may have returned briefly, but not to resume the lives they left here. But for now, the town is continuing to decay with time. I think it was the opportunity to take some photographs of, uh, of an abandoned city. Uh, but also to come here is it's the centre of one of the most important days in world history. Look around and you can see a beauty in some of the, the images. At the very end of the tour, the visitors arrive at Ground Zero, the fourth reactor. I learned a lot about the power plant and how we have to be very careful with things like nuclear power because it's dangerous. I think we have a lot to learn from this experience and the more that we know about it, I think we can make better decisions in the future. Most of the visitors are unlikely to return, but they leave here with the memories of one of the most dramatic tourist destinations in the world. <laughs>